Good day everyone. You are welcome to this tutorial channel. My name is Peter Emanje Adaviruku. Uh, today I want to show you how to create triangulated irregular network team from elevation uh, data sets. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Um, first of all, let's look at uh, what do we mean by team. Uh, if you go to S3 website, they talk more about it. Please, you can read more on that. But I just want to point out a few things about it. That triangulated regular networks are a form of vector-based digital geographic data and are constructed by triangulating a set of vertices, that is points. So the vertices are connected with series of edges to form a network of triangles. So you can read more about it. And it's used to represent uh, continuous services, such as terrain, elevation, or temperature gradients. So you can read more from S3 and other sources online to know more about it. But today, essentially, I just want to show you how to create a team from uh, elevation data. So to do that in ArcGIS, so to do that, let's, let's open our app map interface. And let's bring in the elevation data we want to use. Click on this icon to add the data. Navigate to the folder. In this uh, tutorial, I'm using a data in my exercise folder. And the data is elevation. It's an elevation data. Click OK to add it. This is the elevation data. And the first thing to do is to check the properties of this data. So right click and go to properties. Uh, to check some of very vital information because we need it. Uh, we need it in the course of creating, creating uh, uh, the I mean, team. So go to source. When you open the properties, look at the coordinate system. The coordinate system is a uh, projected coordinate system and is UTM zone 32 knots. So have this in mind. So okay so now to convert this or to create team from this elevation to data what to do is that come to this app to box then go to this 3d analyst tool click on this expansion sign that is plus sign then go to data management click here to expand it then you see team translated the regular network click here then you see create thing. Double click this to open the box. So now, here this output thing is the folder, locate a folder where you want your uh, your result to be. So I'm still saving in my exercise folder. Let's just call this one TIN. TIN. And the type is a thing data set. Click save. Now here, the coordinate system. You have to choose the coordinate system click here when you click here uh, although i've saved it as my favorite it's part of my favorite but in case the coordinate system of the data you are using is not on your favorite you look for it since it is projected click on this plus sign to expand it you go to <coughs> sorry you go to utm utm you go to wgs84 it is Northern Hemisphere. Click Northern Hemisphere and look for Zone 32. This is it, Zone 32. Click on it and click on OK. So it has been loaded. So here, which is input class, click here and put in the elevation. That is this layer. You put it there. Automatically, when you do that, uh, 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 you realize that it has opened the canvas and these heights, is the elevation data make sure the height field is elevation data elevation data and of course you can verify here by clicking on the layer open the attribute table open the attribute table to check see we have the fid we have the shape we have the long longitude and we have the elevation so this elevation this column is the one that must be in this height field so after that, uh, after you have done this, you click on OK. So the process 
will run and create our thing. So it's just a matter of few seconds. So it has been created. See, this is, let's close this now. See, this is our thing. So for better visualization, you can change the color. You can reclassify or you can just change the color. Let me say, I want to change this color to this. For better visualizations, you can see now, I can check this elevation points. So you can see, this is how to create thing from elevation data. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. Read furthermore on elevation, I mean, thing, the usefulness, the type of data you can use to represent, that can be represented in thing. You can read more online, go to S3 website and read more. Thank you for watching this video.